It is a cool, crisp fall afternoon in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's tough to get into this stadium. We'll give you the best seat in the house. A fun day coming up at Three Rivers. It's the St. Louis Rams and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pass was completed for six yards. A first down for the Steelers. Bettis. Jerome Bettis across the 45. Lester in motion. Tom Zack to throw. Caught Charles Johnson inside the 40. Inside the St. Louis 40. Bettis again. Jerome Bettis got eight, maybe nine, shy of the 30. Three carries, 17 yards for Bettis. Second down and a couple. Bettis picks it up inside the 25, down to the 21. Cordell Stewart in at receiver. Bettis out of the lineup. Tom Zack to throw. Has his man. Has a first down. Hastings. Speaking of a disruption, here is Cordell Stewart in at quarterback. Tom Zack out. Second and goal. Bettis. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And that's Steelers football. Toss to Green. Bouncing it outside. Big yards. Third and 13 for the Rams. Blitz coming. Rams pick it up. Kennison cannot get enough for the first down. And there's a man in charge of it, Dick LeBeau. He's done a fine job. Fourth down and six for St. Louis. Banks to throw, hit, dropped, Myron Bell. Second sack this season for Bell, it comes on fourth down. A turnover on downs and Tom Zack hands to Bettis. Jerome Bettis. Goodbye. You know, Jerome Bettis talked about this game and the emotion he wanted to play with in this game. You see Cower, Cower out there to congratulate him. Cower was a player. He played this game. He knows the emotion behind it. The reason he didn't go to the Pro Bowl is because every team plays a 4-3 now, and he's a nose tackle. They feel there's no place for him. He should be there. Second down and eight. Banks has had time over the middle. It's Isaac Bruce into Steeler territory. At the Pittsburgh 35. Kennison down to the five. Eddie Kennison, the rookie. And it's Banks sacked. Quarterback Jason draw. Gilden. Quarterback draw, and there just wasn't anything there. As you say, was there for Pittsburgh. Now Low Miller connects on a 25-yarder to put. 88 yards already, two touchdowns, and here come the Steelers again. They're starting at their own 40. And they hand to Bettis. Gets those big shoulders turned up field as the Steelers are faced with second and four. To the flats, Tim Lester. First down. For the tackle, he was facing forward. After the tackle, he was facing backward, and it hurt. Second down for the Steelers, throwing caught. What a catch. At the 30-yard line, it's Charles Johnson. And another first down. And another give to Bettis. And another big game. At the line of scrimmage or behind the line of scrimmage. Bettis out of the lineup. This is Pedro. And if you don't believe me, go ask Leslie O'Neill. First and goal from the eight. Tom Zach, six for six. And Hastings down to the one. Bettis fumbles it. Picked up by St. Louis and Keith, Keith Lyle. Lyle. So Bettis, who is having a tremendous day, maybe a little anxious, Bill. And second and eight. To the air. Banks gets rid of it. It's picked off by the Steelers. Ron Woodson. That's his third of the season.
defense. Sure, when your safety's back there making the tackles, you know where the ball is. Cordell Stewart in at quarterback and the shotgun. The quarterback draw. Wow. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Second and six for Tony Banks and the Rams. Broken play. Banks able to stay on his feet, not for long. That's what happens, Bill, when you have five rookies in a lineup. But there's nothing wrong with Tom Zach performance-wise. Six out of seven for 60 yards. Now it's Jim Miller, his first action since the first week of the year. Hands to Pegram. A gain of one, second down and nine. Miller, plenty of time, dumps it off. Pegram outruns Pfeiffer. Across the 40 and another first down for Pittsburgh. Watch 34, the fullback. Spring this open for Pigram. Hello, Keith Lyle. And then he gets up in front of the Rams. As the Steelers hurry it up and complete a pass to Eric Pigram, Anthony Parker. First Pittsburgh punt of the day, and it's Josh Miller, the left footer. And you talk about an ugly punt. Maybe one of the worst ever. Remember, Josh Miller just got back last week. He was out with a hernia. Bill Cowher may have a hernia look at that, after look at that, that look. punt. Look, look at the look the head coach gives. And he's not looking at it. He knows. I won't even look at the head coach. <laughs> but Bill's circling around him, trying to give him the glare. Look at the glare. That was a nine-yard punt. <laughs> Bill Cowher, the last guy to get that look was Gordon McCarter. From their own 42, Banks has to run. Has pressure from behind and dropped at the 40. Chris Oldham came from the backside. First sack of the year for Oldham, third of the day for the Steelers. It's third and 13. Over the middle and caught. A first down St. Louis at the Steeler 45. It's Isaac Bruce. Second down and 10. Pump fake. Banks gets out of pressure and will air it out. Downfield, no one there. Now third and ten for the Rams at the Steeler 45. Banks sacked again. Number four on the day. And it's Brenston Buckner. The score 21-3 Steelers. JB and Terry will be along. The Fox Television Center with the Dockers Khakis halftime after this. That's the word on Mike Tomczak. They may check him later. First down, and the give is to Bettis. Ton of room. And Jerome Bettis a first down across the 30. Cordell Stewart lines up as a wide receiver. The five wide receiver set. Third and 10. Miller airs it out. Incomplete. Ernie Mills was wide open. And Milner at the left guard. To the sideline, Bruce. Wide open and a first down inside Steeler territory. Out of bounds near the 30. And healthy is a question you have to look at. You get him through this season with that offensive line. Now third down and 10. Over the middle, caught Bruce inside the 15 and a first down for St. Louis. Has a mild concussion and is out of the lineup for the Steelers. Second down, Bruce inside the five, another St. Louis first down. That's Banks a fumble. keeps it and is wrapped up back near the 10, a fumble, and we'll see who gets it. The officials are having a tough time. Progress was ruled on the play. There's no fumble. Should have been a fumble. Should be the Steelers' ball. Instead, it's third and goal. To the end zone, nearly picked off and incomplete. The 27-yard field goal. He's two for two on the afternoon and 12 out of 14 for the year. And now he kicks it away. This is Pegram. Eric Pegram, a lot of room. Big cut back. Pegram. Missed a step. Still on his feet. Inside the 10. 
Touchdown, no Steelers. Flags. No flags on the play. Look at Bill Cowher. The punt team. And it belongs to Pegram. Eddie Kennison back deep for St. Louis from inside the five. He lost the football. It belongs to Pittsburgh again. And now it's uh, Murphy's Law. That's what's taking place right now. Cordell Stewart is into the lineup. And the toss is to Hastings. Running left. Cuts back. Down inside the 10. And another first down for the Steelers. Stewart. Touchdown. And all the Rams players are looking at each other. They, they don't know what just happened there. Banks and the Rams offense back to work. First down from their own 35. Big rush. Banks is sacked again. Olsomski gets his first of the year. And from that, they haven't been throwing the ball. I mean, if they're throwing the ball and he's making tackles, that's one thing. But when he's making all the tackles and they're running ball, that's a bad sign. Complete. And a first down catch. It's Hastings again. A guy who didn't even get a chance under Rich Brooks. He was cut before the season began. So sweet revenge for both. It's Pegram to the right side. Into the end zone again. Now, excellent job by the trainers for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The last time I saw Pigram, they were carrying him off the field and barely walking. For the Steelers, what a day for Jerome Bettis. A day of retribution and, as he put it, a day to shut the door on his career with the L.A. Rams and then the St. Louis Rams.